like and so when i got like to like 18 19 i revisited modeling and now i'm not so much in commercial anymore i want to get back into commercial like doing like commercials and stuff but right now i'm getting my my fashion show presence like my actual in the studio poses together like on that actual model and then on the fashion you know it all it's all best of the best entertainment presents your feature presentation what up milwaukee Yo, what's going on down? It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we rocking out with your boy, man. Hey. That's what coming to the show. You already Chill. know, man. So formally introduce yourself, man. Hey, man. My name is JP the Brand. I'm new on the scene. I'm an artist, rapper, actor, model, just coming on, trying to be the best I could be, man. So so where you from, man? I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, from the north side. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. So I got to ask you like I ask every artist, man. What did, what did the name derive from? The name it came from so honestly so at first my name was just JP JP my initials um and I was just rock with JP but then I seen those other uh other people named JP in the world and like when people would look me up on Apple Music or Spotify it would be hard for them to find me so I was like, okay well I gotta go different my brand name like my company name was JP the brand and I was like well I'd rather just write with that because when I'm in public people call me JP the brand well people call me JP but like but like when they call me as an artist they would call me as jp the brand so i might as well just commit fully to it and then behind the brand honestly i take myself different i, I brand myself i'm not like every other artist not trying to do the same thing i'm trying to think outside the box and really ways to promote myself and push push me as a brand yeah absolutely uh we see the constant in the studio presence man hey. and, and the network and the videos man so so explain how your how your networking pr uh, process works so Honestly, you, we see it we, I'm, I'm sorry but you, you know how you got your engineers and then like the collaborations yeah and, and you know explain your process man so honestly when it comes to networking uh me and my guys and my group we really we really the focal point in everything. Uh, we call it Eight Productions, uh, APE, which means Artist, Producer, Engineer, and Jeez. and all of us. We kind of dabble in everything, so we all in house with it. We don't have to resource. Now I do network with other people to do it, but when me and my guys need something, we in house and we get it done. So all the projects you see is from us. We we pushing it out, doing that. So that's why it's going at a rapid rate, honestly. Yeah, absolutely. And we see the versatility, man. Um, Talk to us and tell us uh, what inspired the ins inspired the inspiration <laughs> inspired the switch up to uh, to R and B switching it up to R and B because you you sing it to the <laughs> respectfully we can sing yeah, it to yeah, the females, females yeah. sing it to the women man so. Uh, uh, so like, honestly, yeah, I had to I had to say the studio talk. How they talk in the studio, yeah. man. Like, like <laughs> when we in the studio, like man, the engineer will tell you you gotta make songs for the yeah, man. Yeah, no, so, honestly like, though, but, but, like, respectfully, but yeah, yeah. Um, but what inspired uh, the R and B though? What inspired mm. the R and B? Honestly, so me being versatile, I was always just doing different lanes to see what I can do, and then it came to a point where I was making R and B music. I was like this is good. Like people gonna gravitate towards this and. I seen how the lane of Milwaukee is in present in R and B, especially like the lane I'm in with R and B, kind of like a mainstream R and B kind of sense. Like it's a lot of actual singers out there. Like yeah. I can hold a tune, but you know, like more of on like radio tip type of situation. Um, but honestly, I want to build my fan base. When you had the females, the the males gonna come right behind them, and I was like personally i'm kind of like a ladies man in a sense like just I, I talk to females all the time so it's like let me talk to them in a song and so i dropped r&b slow it down for them to really get their attention like no i'm not just a rapper i'm not just lit i'm not just energy like I, I know how to switch it up and do every lane for real and be diverse and they seem that seemed to be their favorite i get the most strings from my r&b music honestly yeah copy that man so in case y'all just now tapping in we kicking it with jp the brand hey. y'all stay tapped in we gotta pay some bills commercial break yeah for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. Located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut app today or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. If you
you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within the shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yo, yo, yes, thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break. Once again, we with JP the brand. Yo. So you know what I'm saying? It is a brand, man. So I seen you, uh, I seen you modeling, bro. Like yeah. you know, on the on the runway, man. Yeah, like, hold man. up, bro. Like, what don't you do, damn it? <laughs> so um what 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 made you jump into uh fashion and modeling? Uh honestly with fashion and fashion and model. Sorry to cut you off, fashion and model. Honestly, what tapped me into fashion and modeling, uh my mom put me in modeling at 18 months. So like as soon as I was a baby, she put me in the age. Shout out moms, hold on. Shout out moms, yeah, get it back real. early. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she she tapped me in with the modeling thing uh, because I, don't, I honestly don't know why she did it, but I know. So it started off, I was a second unit. I used to model for like Coz and JCPenney. I just got a lot of commercial like. Hold on, you got to explain like, second unit. What's that? Oh, so second unit is... So, you know, like an uh, understudy. Yeah. So I was basically an understudy for models. Like I'm coming in with the agency, not with the biggest, I'm 18 months, you know? So yeah. like other babies in front of me and everything, but like those babies used to be crying and not getting the job done. So they'll call the second unit, which would be me and be like, hey, oh, yeah, they be like, hey, you know, this baby acting up, can we use him? I come in, smile, you know, I always been like a, a positive guy, like happy, <laughs> Boy, like smiling. They like, they like, oh, we love him, we love him. So then I became the first unit, then I became like the guy for for the commercial things. And like, I'll be doing like fashion shows and uh, I do commercials, TV shows, like just a whole bunch of different things. Like they post me everywhere, um, like no billboard. Way. Like it was big, like like it was a real agency. Like it was, it was big, but I took a break from it. I had to step back. They wanted me to travel, but moms was like, we not, you know, yeah, I got to go to school. That type of time yeah, right you now, know, yeah. like, and so when I got like to like 18, 19, I revisited modeling and now I'm not so much in commercial anymore. I want to get back into the commercial, like doing like commercials and stuff. But right now I'm getting my, my fashion show presence, like my actual in the studio poses together like on that actual model and then on the fashion you know it all ties into artistry and everything and i i really like that as well coming merch coming soon yeah facts man anybody who into modeling or anything man tap in with my boy man yeah. for real you cheesing at the age of 19 months yeah man, man. <laughs> for real for real so we see the uh the new single man uh what it's called reveal reveal man that's crazy produced by I'm gonna, let you, I'm gonna let you take it away with that one man so for sure man. uh we got um me and my my cousin T Woods, a uh, producer, best uh best beats in the city, man. Industry quality beats. Y'all gotta go tap in with T Woods and AJ May got beats as well. Uh but yeah, T Woods, he kicked up this beat last year, actually. We was in the car. He used to live in St. Louis. He came here and we were in the car chopping it up. He showed me some beats. He showed me this one. I was like, no, this the one. I was like, I need this one. He was like, you want it? He was like, okay, it's yours. And I went to the studio, That's I rapped over right it. There. And I didn't drop it for a whole year just because I don't like dropping just to drop. I want to drop for a reason and drop with promotion behind it. Like, okay, is this going to get looks that it needs? Like, the setting and the area. So, we dropped it because we're going to drop a tape. Um, this year, it's called Year in Motion. We don't have a date yet, but it's coming soon. It's going to be a seven, uh, seven project EP dropping soon. And then, yeah, review. I think I was going through some at the time and I just put everything on the mic. I, I usually vent in when I'm in the stew, like that I, I, I express myself that way. I, I don't express myself through just talking. It's usually through like some type of artistry, like yeah. acting or, you know, music, something to, to release. And I just put it on the track and now I just shot the video the other day. That should be dropping this week as well. So be on the lookout for that. Uh shot by Ocean Legacy. Um and it's really just it's just up from now, honestly. Yeah, yeah facts, facts. So um so what what made you like get into the studio? What made you f wait first before you answer that question, we're gonna take one more commercial break, y'all. Y'all stay tapped in. We're gonna figure out what made him start rapping, what made him get into the music, start making music. Y'all stay tapped in.
You are here for a reason. It's because you believe you are the best. The best of the best entertainment presents singers, songwriters, and producers talent competition registration page. Here at this competition, you can win up to $5,000 in cash and prizes in just a few steps. Step number one, fill out the form. Step number two, upload up to five original tracks of your choice, preferably MP3. Each track upload is $10 per upload. Step three, check out. Step four, download the registration form at the thank you page. Failure to sign and send back the form automatically disqualifies you from the competition. Step five, wait to hear back from our judges. Good luck. Yo, thanks for still tapping in at the commercial break. Once again, man, we with JP the brand, man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you know, we was on, uh, you know, what made you hop in the studio? What made you, like, start doing music? Honestly, bro, I never thought I would be doing music. So when I was younger, like in the summertime, my mom used to put me in camps. Like she put me in writing camp and acting camps and like Shout out to yeah, Mom. Shout out to Mom. She she Damn. kept me versatile. Oh, she kept geez. me busy. I've been busy since I was young. So I never really had a break for real. But um yeah, she was like she put me in DJing club just so I could find my passion, honestly. And when I was doing it, like I used to take the writing courses and the DJing courses, like this cool. Like I always, I always love music, but I never seen myself in that space. Of, like I'm the artist, but so it was like mm. when I got to college, I had a group of people who I was kicking it with, and they had a studio in their dorm room, and I would, I would do it with them. They're like, JP, you should rap, you should rap. Just say something. I'm like, no, nah, that's not me. That's y'all. And then it came around to we went to the actual studio and we wrote a song and i did that and everybody was like that don't sound bad you just need some work and i was just like okay so i just perfected my sound and my craft because it was like you're not far off from what you want to do like you just have to do something here do something here i was like okay for sure and as i was doing it because you know i'm generally a writer like I, I can just write for days so That's and I was, I was writing songs and then i had to learn how to make a song as well like it's not telling the story it's telling the story but in a melodic way like yeah, so it's like i had to learn how to do that and honestly when i when i gained the passion i was like in 2018 i i started this 2018 but i didn't drop music until 2021 and i did that because Jeez. i just wanted to take a step back three years later yeah i didn't i didn't drop at all just so because who taught you to, who taught you like the bar count though because a lot of people come to the studio they don't understand the bar count like who taught you that who's the one who taught you that honestly it's a collab it it's natural. not it came natural but it also it also was a group effort like the product of jp the brand you see today has been a lot of people input in my life like to who's your boy who's your boy that uh um, that, that you came to the studio who brought you brought you to the studio in the dorm who was he uh it was it was my people back in college uh shout out shout out my my guys back in college um brandon k brand everybody like going crazy for real for real yeah fast. um but yeah, they they introduced me to it, yeah, and nice. and we were just building, and we used to go to the studio constantly. And then uh, my guy, he got a studio in his crib, so then we start going over there like every day consistently, and just kept getting better and better. I ain't gonna lie. So back in college, my college friends actually, I would say, helped me with my bar count, yeah, fast. just because I didn't know how to rap for real. So they was like, "Hey, you saying too many words, like." pause like people want to hear less words so it's like okay but yeah. let me take that out replace it with a word because you could say different words to get your message across without saying a sentence absolutely so it's like it, it all was a process honestly but I, i'm i'm grateful for it because i'm here and then like my best friend she a singer shout out songbird yeah. uh she she took a lot of time with me like she went to columbia for um for for music so Jeez. like she got to and pause on me. that man because we was just talking about your network man you around yeah. all the right people too man yeah like, most definitely you know you around jada what up jada food? shout out jada yeah. man pray for J Dub. Yeah, man, yeah. Pray for J man. Oh my god. I, I dropped the inbox. But uh Shai, Shai Mara, what's her name? Shai, Shai yeah, Mara, queen, you know what I'm yeah. saying? You around the queen, and then like you around all these people. So like has the like explain how is this network bridging, man? So honestly, bro, 
this network is bridging i so beyond the music i i'm a i'm a religious person i believe in god i'm very prayed to i, I pray touch, touch your hands of god on that man another I, god I honestly pray to for people who add value in my life to stay around me and for people who don't to remove so god constantly adding people who add value if it's in just having conversation but usually like uh, my my circle is musically inclined people right like today. or not even musically inclined like entertainment inclined so it's like if you need pictures podcasts you need to go to the studio anything like yeah. my my circle we have it and it's really is really something special because not a lot of people have this and this is how i know it's going to work just off the strength everything is falling in place and i don't believe god put these people in my life just to put them in my life like he put them in my life to help me grow and help me evolve so like I, okay, i'm very man, i got a next i got a next question bro go so, ahead um you know i'm a virgo right I didn't know that. Oh, my boy. Oh, man. I, I knew it was something. Jeez, hold ah. on. So let, we go. We go swoop over to the Virgos. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let, go introduce that first of all. For sure. Second of all, tell us tell us what that what that mean. Okay, but so uh, Virgo, I came up with it. Um, basically, I'm a Virgo, and then it was my first EP I was dropping. So it was kind of like goat. You know, like I made the tape. I made I started the tape beginning of the tape in February and then I ended up dropping it in December. So I've been working on it for the whole year of 2022. Jeez. And I just wanted my that tape was very versatile. So we were talking behind the scenes when I said I took a year off. That meant something to you though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but keep on sure. talking, keep on talking. I was gonna say, um uh yeah, so the Virgo, it took basically a whole year to come in and I just wanted to show people my versatility. I never want to be put in a box. Mm -hmm. Like I know the lane people can see me in, like they're like, oh you melodic, yada yada, but it's like, no, I can hit you. You want some Milwaukee, you want some lyrical, like you want R and B, like I can hit you in every area and I had to let them know, like, so when I do start branching off and do these other projects, it's not foreign to them. Like, no, he been doing it since his first project and and it's been great. I ain't gonna lie. Virgo, it got a lot of attention. It, it it got the city turned up for me for like I feel like people start gravitating towards me after that because it came with a lot of visuals. It came with about like I say like I, off the tape like five videos off the tape. How many songs like, was it? Seven. Jeez. Yeah. Like so, it was like five, maybe four. I think it was actually four videos, but still, you know, like I pushed it to where to where it had to go to lead me up to dropping the R and B. Um, but yeah, I, I I'm proud of that. My first tape, honestly, I'm gonna look back at it in years and be like, wow, that's a great body of yeah, work. It's a great body. I think of people work. still gonna tap in. I know they're gonna tap back into the Virgo tape just because of the quality. Like, and then you was walk, you was a walking brand too, man. We seen you jumping from podcast to promoting hey, it too, yeah, man. We seen man. that, man. I, I, I don't know. Who, I say it. we, man. I hope best of the best was we, watching or yeah. is watching after this. Most definitely. But yeah, you already know what time it is, man. We rock it with JP the brand. Me, I'll stay tapped in, man. We got the word segment. You already know what's going on, man. So y'all stay tapped in right after this commercial break. Yeah. Find this wine crystal here with Best of the Best TV, where we interview entrepreneurs who've shown consistent dedication to their work. We assist others in marketing by exposing you on all successful platforms and your favorite podcast apps, as well as a special segment titled Artist of the Month, where we honor artist achievements. Contact our host, Sir Quentin Gladney, by visiting bestofthebesttv.com or email 414liftoff at gmail.com today. Yeah, say yeah. You already know, man. We still tapped in, man. With JP the brand, man. Yeah, you man. You got a slogan or something? Up? JP the brand. Okay, yeah. so I don't like saying stuff before it come out, but like uh, we gonna, gonna hear it first on Best of the Best TV. I, I, man. I was gonna say I'm working on it. It's like I want to have it surrounded like be the brand you the brand be the brand something like with something jp like the brand i don't know because i had something that was like be true be you be the brand but i seen someone else take be true be you so i'm like i don't want to still say, even though it was my idea but like it. yeah i was like okay but it's coming soon what, what do jp sure. stand for Jordan Patterson. Jordan Patterson. Yeah. Mm. So my initials and then Jordan. You know. Jordan the goat. Something. The Something is. I got. I got to come because my logo is this. I like. I, I said I wanted to brand this, and I tapped in with an artist, and he was like, "Well, this look like a J." 
And I was like, oh, the wrist looked like a pea. So it was like, yeah. and okay, then, uh, let's the, do it. The hands are like a goat, like the, the horns of a goat. You feel me? Like, uh, so you, it all kind of. Go somewhere with that Virgo, yeah. too. That, I like that Virgo, bro. You know, I, you, you know, I can't leave that alone. Yeah. It's a Virgo, goddamn. Yeah, look up a Virgo t- uh, part two. Yeah, probably facts. next year around Virgo season because I'm doing consistently every year on my birthday. So, facts, like, facts. yeah, for sure. So, y'all know what's going on, man. The word segment. You see the spinner Rooney right on the table. You know what I'm saying? So, we're going to have them spin it three times and you let us know what you think about those words, man. They're personal okay. words, so. So we finna pick your brain. Man, let's so get, get it. Get your first spin. Oh, you gonna give us uh, the baby spin? Uh, All right. Let's see what we got. Longevity. Ooh, that's a great word. I love that <laughs> word. Um. So what I think about it? Yes, Lord. Okay. So basically, longevity for me, it means everything because. So how I was telling you, I didn't do music. Uh, I didn't drop music for like three years. It was because I want longevity, longevity in this industry, in this business, like for mm. the entertainment purposes, for just found everything. Like I need longevity. I wasn't rushed to drop because now that I'm dropping my, if you see my vault, it's crazy. It's like over 200, 300 something songs in the vault. Like, and I'm dropping like this and like, how are you going so crazy? I, I had it stacked up. Like I literally took the time to prepare and it was because I don't want to be the guy who make a hit and then it's like okay this this song code let me drop it I drop it then I'll have nothing else for like four months and now everybody gotta where you been at where you been at I was like nope I'm a stack 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 so I can have the longevity to just keep going being consistent now I'm in their face now everybody see me like JP you going so crazy you doing this and it's like I plan for this like and people used to tell me back then like you need to drop the time is now like because you know back in the day like people was getting locked up you know like people was moving traveling so it was like the, the motion was dying down they needed artists and it was like this is the time to do it. and I was like I'm not ready I honestly I, I didn't drop because I didn't have an official sound I wanted I was still finding who JP the brand was like it was a lot of rebranding going on my name wasn't even jp at first like people call me jp just because that's my name but on the artist like i had a whole different name i was with a whole different like it was a lot of building within that so i just took the time to prepare and i'm still preparing for longevity like the stuff i'm doing now is cool but i've been preparing that for months like that's I'm crazy because I'm, like, like, I'm, I'm interrupting your word segment which is ahead. unlikely ever but you was working for something <laughs> Three years later, now and it's making you current. And you working for something three years from now. Exactly. Like, keep keep talking, man. Keep I'm talking. never, I'm never, and also my guys like uh, J Dub, you know T Woods, AJ May. We all on the same time, and honestly, like we never even my guy Nino Hefner, like we all on the same type of time. And that's why my my circle is so it it is working because we all on like. Let's think in the future. We already prepare for the now. We still prepare for now. You know, like it's still kinks you have to get out the way. But honestly, it's like we prepare for the future because that's what we have to be ready for when it hits. And we don't want to be blindsided. Oh, we don't be unprepared God, for anything. Bro. You a so. real life Virgo, man. Like I keep <laughs> on telling people, we are a bigger picture type of guy. Like man, you see yeah. the bigger picture, like yeah, you know, not the little splatters that started off. You see the yeah. picture when it's done, man. Yeah, man, I, we gonna I'm keep on going into longevity, man. Don't give them too many of our go. I mean, too many of our secrets man man you already know <laughs> get your second spin man, man. Okay, okay, let's man. hope it don't land on longevity again <laughs> oh man this is for you fashion yeah announce it what's the word the word is fashion jeez okay fashion fashion is jeez, a word i'm gonna to sit me. back on this one. <laughs> fashion is a word to me because that's an expressive word fashion comes in very different like I don't know when it comes to fashion you gotta think outside the box like being around these models and these stylists and these designers really opened my mind to how big fashion actually is like putting just a garment on and then rocking that and then letting that be the focal point but also having a piece and also in this industry people think talent is what carry you it's so many talented people who don't look the part you have to look the part to go I, I, my personal belief image is 50 percent. you have to look like you know what you're doing to to get people attention if you look like this is not what you're supposed to do because i'm learning all this artist and like the industry like and that's another reason i was doing a long journey go back to that but not for real like i was just studying the business like honestly like behind the scenes like having fame and fans is cool but it's like 
I need my business secure. So it was like, I, I secured the back end on that. But even on a fashion sense, when I seen like, it's some dope people, why they not elevate it? They don't look the part. And people like, it sucks. And, but also in the industry, image takes more than it should sometimes like it's a lot of not talented people like 95 like a lot of not talented people but they look the part so it's like okay so if you put incorporate the fashion part into it you can go farther and then now i'm about to tap in with my own merch i'm about to build my team for um for like the fashion so we can get like sweaters and hoodies like it's coming together for real like in a couple of videos y'all gonna see like how the brand really gonna going grow because I'm coming crazy with the designs now like, i always been a creative so it's like this isn't the hard part for me like I, I love creating and putting things together and being in these different spaces it's just opened my eyes to what the possibilities are what i can do like potentially i want to throw my own fashion show or i want to be a designer in a show like something even model my own clothing like and love fashion i love fashion like down to everything i took a little break from it but i'm really about to start popping out like like showing people i could dress because I, I i i take pride in that honestly yeah facts 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 <laughs> facts the yeah. brand all right yeah. third spin my third boy spin. let's get a hard spin on that one hold on let's stop right. that oh yeah yeah one of those what we got family yeah what does all family right. mean to you all right the word family okay this this is probably the best way for the for the last word just because family means everything to me i'm a family man i'm a family oriented man i would be nothing without my family i give everything to my family all the time i might not show it no like i i care and i do what i can like you know i already said like I, I, it's hard for me to express like how i like my my looks like what's that called like a reaction like people when i get the reaction they want but no like i'm sincere and what i mean and i tell my family that like, I, I got y'all through whatever like we gonna get it and even my family that's why i give credit to my family because they all creatives as well like my grandma mm. she sews um my grandpa he played a saxophone he was in the band back in the day not the saxophone the trumpet i apologize like he played the trumpet back in the day my auntie went to juilliard for dancing my cousin she on tour with sweetie for dancing my brother made clothes like that's why i i give everything to my family and that's what i know what i'm doing is is meant to be because it started from a seed like before i was even born like god working on my family to help me grow so it's like everybody i just feel like i just took the time like okay well i'm gonna find my lane like i'm gonna do what i can now i'm got my my hand in the pot with everything but uh family's even deep with me because a lot of my friends i call them brothers like honestly or sisters like because it, it's deeper with me it's like not really too much friends but it's like if we locked in we family like we gonna do this like you gonna feel me you gonna get an understanding like okay we locked in for real like i got his back you know i got they back so it's like we we really pushing the family family's most important thing we'd be nowhere without family honestly and like yeah you're gonna bump heads like i bump heads a lot with my family but i know it's gonna help me grow it's out of love though like we might not see eye to eye but i'm most definitely always gonna have they back and they gonna have mine so shout out to the fam there you have it ladies and gentlemen with the virgo jp the brand yeah. word segment with Jer the me. virgo uh, jp the brand my bad I love you. I love you. I love you. yeah <laughs> with, the, with the brand so um yeah so um you, you, you well you kind of touched on it a uh, uh, pause kind of touched on it a little bit <laughs> uh so like what does like being an artist mean to you because uh obviously it means a lot to you and, and on different levels and categories as well so like what does that mean to you honestly i would say being an artist what it means to me is being the inspiration being uh being a mogul being bigger than your craft honestly like artistry is cool and the music it gets to people but being an artist is bigger than just going to the studio i believe talent is only about like 10 15 percent it's what you do behind it, and that's that's what makes a true artist is the production done behind it and the creativity not just i have the best bars or i have the best harmonies or whatever it's like that's cool that's going to get you in the door but you have to go further you have to brand yourself literally like this is why i do podcasts and i, I do features and 
I do shows all the time just so I could build my brand and, and get out there as an artist because as I told you, I did my research and what I noticed with the industry is a lot of the people we see, they music not pushed, but we know them. And so it's like, okay, if you fall in love with the person and they find out you do music and your music is dope as well, it's just going to help your business. So it's like Absolutely. being an artist is more than just making music. It's, it's being an inspiration in, in other ways and showing art, literally showing yeah, your absolutely. art. Yeah. So uh, what, what doors do you expect to open for you? Like as an artist, like what do you see? You know, you and uh, T Woods and AJ May, like, where do you like? Where do y'all see? Like, what's the what what's the the tunnel vision that you guys see? Like, okay, like this gonna be it, and then we gonna, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, I gotta get in y'all minds real quick. Honestly, I feel like the doors that's gonna be open for us. We in the business of the act of service, so we're we're here to serve the people, like if it's through laughter creativity like me and the guys we're gonna come up with a podcast as well soon um so like that's I'm another your boy, man you ain't yeah, got man. to but i'm just saying i, th no, I thought out sure. there yeah, for facts, sure. man. Yeah, we yeah. chopped in yeah, let's do um it. but yeah so i i see the door because we we in the we, we in the business of service so it's like we want to help the people we can help and like if that means just being us and people see us and want to buy are they going far we can go far as well and then we make a blueprint of what to do and how to do it because i always said and i never thought i would be the guy to do it because i was like milwaukee just needs somebody to look at somebody in the industry but all somebody to come back and be like come to the hood and be like this is what they're doing in california this is what they're doing in georgia let's get it yeah. and i feel like me and the guys are good push for that because we making our own lane we're not trying to be like anybody else we're really trying to be original like what i said like the fame is cool and of course we're going to get notoriety and and support along the way but that's not our biggest thing first is stability you know like to make sure our family's good and we good but then it's like to push our creativeness on people like we gonna open so many doors like milwaukee gonna be on like i'm telling you like we gonna help push it we not saying we gonna take all the credit or nothing but we most definitely gonna be helpful with the city to like my my guy aj may always be ca calling me a neighborhood hero because i always think of like my neighborhood where i grew up at like the north side like i want to do so much for my community honestly like just to to push them but the doors that's going to be open is are endless honestly because it's going to get to the point you can drop our own movies, TV shows, and it's like people haven't seen this type of door coming from artists. And that's where our foundation is, is with the music. So it's like, now that's going to grow and we can go in different lanes and just really build, become something bigger than just, you know, APE Productions. Like APE Productions is a safe place where you could be 100% yourself. Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah. Uh, so you kind of smoothed over the fashion department. So like name some of the designers that you work with, some people sure. that's, that put you on a runway and, and things of that nature. Uh, so Vato, Vato uh, Verified, uh, he put me on the runway for the fashion show. He was my first uh, fashion show. I just did one for Rochelle Taylor uh, last year. Jeez, you um, Rochelle Taylor. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? yeah. Oh, Shout, out Shout out Rochelle. Yeah, man. I love Rochelle. Yeah. Um, my boy Overdose, uh, Telly. Overdose, he got his man. Name. Damn, yeah. that's crazy because Overdose, he, he in my DM, and I'm glad you dropped that name, yeah, man. I'm not an boy. advocate of people dropping names, I but. I almost wore a shirt today, too. Yeah, I, uh, he dropped in my, it jumped in my DM. I didn't yeah, know who he is, but you dropped in that. Copy that. Roger that, sir. Most definitely. He making moves. Yeah. Um, Excuse me, I keep that. clearing my throat. Y'all coming over real cold, man. I don't stay sick more than mm -hmm. two days, though, but yeah. But um, uh, yeah, you said, you said Rochelle. Uh, overdose. What was, what was the first one you said? Vato. Vato. Yeah. Um. He's super dope. Uh. Jeff McAllister. He he a dope. Um. Stylist slash designer as well. Um. Who was I just? Oh, custom kicks by me. She do shoes. Uh. That's my friend. She she dope with with doing the shoes. I just modeled for her in a fashion show. My guy living loaded. Um. Shout out to him. I just wear his hoodie and I mean his sweatshirt in one of my videos. Uh. Um, it's a whole bunch of people. I'm not gonna lie, like everybody really doing their thing, and then that's also cool with being an artist is being in the fashion world because as an artist, it's like I could promote you. 
So it's right. like people more willing to to like, hey, throw this on for me, like do this, do this. And I was like, now it kind of all ties in together. Like I can promote somebody else instead of just, I'm gonna promote my brand for sure. But now other people see me like, no, I need you in this. I need you to do this because I know you're gonna get the looks. People going, you know, like, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We tapped in with JP the brand, man. We picking his yeah. brain, man. Yeah, man. And uh, you know, he got music. He's, he's a brand yeah fashion guru you know what i'm saying uh fashion model if you will yeah. since the age of 16 months yeah man. yeah <laughs> so um so what's next man shout out the crew man get your last minute shout outs man what you got coming up in the right, whole nine man. like lay it all out there man man so uh what's coming up most recent is going to be my reveal video uh shout out ocean legacy like i said that should be coming out soon in like a week or two i'm not sure on the actual date yet but um that's going to be coming out soon and that's just to start the rollout for me and t woods tape a uh, year in motion uh, me and my boy aj may we got a tape going on called the playbook uh seven uh seven song ep versatile as well we got our feature j dub on there shout out j dub again um and then we coming out with an ape tape so a collective collective tape probably next year you know just to let the world know um probably in december we gonna start our podcast get that up and going um so it, it's really much like i told you like i'm planning for the future like, i'm already Strategic, thinking about yeah. r&b jp2 next year like do i want to do that in february or do i want to wait like so it's all it's all going going plan out then i got fashion shows coming up you know shows uh i'm performing at rissa halloween party on the 27th so like that's something big um yeah, motion going crazy, motion picking up, um, staying, staying active on social media, staying in the city, doing my thing. You no, know, I appreciate yeah. the level on the way. Man, appreciate you, bro, for Man, coming on the show you. for one, for two. Man, anything you need, like behind the scenes or anything like that, yeah. bro, red carpet, like, you know, yeah, like yeah. podcast and anything like that behind the scenes. Additionally, three, setting up the podcast. Yeah. Leave me, keep me open as an option, my most, dog. You already know, bro. This is love, bro. You know, this is a networking it. platform too, man. And I'm around another Virgo, man. Yeah. I can't yeah. yeah. When your birthday? <laughs> when your birthday? August 23rd, Kobe, bro. Oh, you were August one? Yeah. Okay, for yeah, sure. September. Yeah, I'm September 16th. Yeah, September 16th. Yeah, yeah. Price, yeah. Price, 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 All price, Virgo price, show yeah. love, dog. Yeah, they do, man. And it's yeah. the same. It's the same process, man. You know what I'm saying? I most see you planning, and you see the bigger picture, man. So once again, man, get your last minute shout outs. Get your name. Where to find you at? First, okay, man. I forgot about that too well my name is jp the brand you can follow me on social media you can follow me on instagram at forum for dot jp you can follow me on facebook at jp the brand you can follow me on tiktok at forum for dot jp uh my youtube is jp the brand i got music on all platforms apple music spotify wherever your streaming service is my music is there so you can tap in i have a lot of videos and it's just a lot in store and i hope the world ready because big things are happening like I, i'm gonna say this i feel like i'm finally tapping into who i'm supposed to be like in all areas so it's like especially when it comes to my brand like i feel like people was i don't even know what's about to come that's why i'm excited like i'm not scared it's like just like a little anxious like nervous like not even nervous it's like what's about to happen because i know big things are about to happen i stayed down and I'm still gonna stay down for what's coming. Like I'm not folding nothing. You know, I got my support system. I got my my guys. I mean, I got God on my side. It's like, how can I feel? And it's like God gonna keep filling me with inspiration, motivation, passion. So it's like the world not ready. Really, like the songs that I got. Ooh, yeah, we just I'm trying to tell you, too. I got I got some I got some things under right. I could probably play you some too behind the scenes. Yeah, just like no, I'm yeah. not capping. Like I'm really you're not gonna play me 1500 songs, but you can no, play me no, a couple no. of. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm <laughs> not, not I'm talking not, about yeah, shit. Yeah, do your thing, Sorry. bro. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, motion really picking up. I appreciate everybody who support me for real. Like this is a journey. What I said, longevity. So it's like this is really only the beginning. Like people haven't seen anything. Like I appreciate the compliments. People tell me I'm going crazy, but like the world not ready like for me or my team so it's like it's going up i appreciate it yeah for real you already know man so uh additionally on top of that man y'all make sure y'all tap into best of the best tv.com we got a singer songwriters and producer contest in which you submit up to five songs and those songs if you win we will shop that song to our record label so we got a 
a whole list of record label execs that we're gonna uh, shop the songs to, and you will uh, have a chance to get signed. And you know, you already know what's up from there. So um, y'all make sure y'all stay tapped in with that. Uh, we rocking out with JP the brand. Yo, you already know what time it is on Best of the Best TV dot com, and we just got some good news that um, that we got the possibility to be on Roku. So y'all pray for that. Y'all put that up in the sky for me, man. And uh, you already know what time it is. Shh. Shut up and hustle. Yeah. They still in the struggle. Flexing on dicks with money, no muscle. Uh, good, we using no rubber. I tell them I serve it. Shut up and hustle. Who that's wrong and you fuckers in trouble. The 40 stay tuck ain't no time to tussle. I'm fucking them gone, ain't no time to call. I tell them I serve it. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them I serve it.